Waalaikumsalam. Of course, I'm ready all the time. Okay. Dato, the first question is, what is the funniest story you've heard about yourself that is untrue? <laughs> the funniest story which I've heard about myself which is untrue, they told me that I am a person who always shed crocodile tears. They kata saya menangis, tengok bila saya tengok rumah-rumah, susah saya menangis. Lepas tu dia tunjuk pula rumah anak saya dekat Jakarta, macam mana lebih dan sebagainya. Saya, it's very funny to me, you know. Because they do not know who I am. Saya ni seorang ahli perniagaan sebelum saya masuk dunia politik. I've been a businessman for many many years from 1974. Ini pasal saya kata it's very funny, you know. Okay, alright. <laughs> Definitely, it is kind of funny actually. Yeah. Uh, what do you have to say about, to your critics out there? Well, I hope whatever they want to critique me, please find facts. Jangan cakap yang bukan-bukan. Kadang-kadang dia suka menuduh, menunding jari. Macam kita tunjuk jari ke orang macam ni lah. Actually, four is pointing at you. Why? You know, you 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 don't you don't simply say things you are not know. You do not know, especially on certain people. There's a lot of us in the cabinet who are actually successful uh, businessmen or successful uh, professional before being in the cabinet. So you just don't say something which is uh, not true, lah. Okay. So what do you think about students in politics? Well, yesterday, what I did with the um, uh, Mahasiswa uh, Barisan Nasional, we allowed them to come, we allowed them to be with us. And yesterday, it was 2,000 over of them, which uh, willingly, from open, with their open heart, to come and assist us for the GE uh, 14 uh, election. And I was very happy. I was the one who officiated the, the, the program yesterday. Uh, Mahasiswa Barisan Nasional. Kita hantar ke bawah. Okay. okay. And uh, what inspires you? What inspires me in what sense? In your career? Well, yeah. you know, I am today whatever I am today, doing politics because maybe deep inside me, my character is I like to assist people. I like to help people. I like to help the needies. And uh, it makes me satisfied, it gives me satisfaction. Especially when that day when I met some of my voters, the old voters, their parents, and he brought one of his kids uh, which wanted to study medicine in Medan. I, I forgot that there was about uh, four or five years ago. They asked for my help. And then that uh, girl, I already graduated as a doctor, she came up to me and said, Tok, terima kasih banyak banyak. Datuk bantu saya. It make me happy. Yes, That's what I am. Oh, yeah. Right. Like yeah. helping people and they still remember you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After, after five years, years, yeah. As we have said that, you have been making your rounds at a 222 parliamentary constituency. Yes. What do you see that you want to change, if you could? Of course, I want them to uh, work harder, number one. Number two, what they should do is, uh, they have got to uh, follow the concept of wala. That mean, Wala, you whatever you decided, you follow the leader. Itu yang saya harapkan lah, okay? Okay, Datuk. This is a controversial, a bit funny controversial. Apa question. yang funny ni? Um, <laughs> you can choose not to answer it if you want. Yes. But it'd be great if you can clarify it. Yes. That wall wardrobe malfunction at Sungai Besar by election oh, yeah. result announcement. Did you forget your belt? No, no, no. What happened was with me was this. I wasn't feeling well. Okay. And then uh, I didn't use my belt. Yes. And then you know my stomach uh, kempis. Yes. Jadi bila saya angkat tangan, seluar tu luar. Luckily I was with my underwear. It's yeah. okay. <laughs> if not, people will love me better. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, okay. The seventh question: If you had access to a time machine, where would you go? If I had access to a time machine, where do I go? I, I, I go to space, lah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I can go to space, okay. okay. Alright, um, and top three favourite Malaysian food? Oh, top three favourite favorite Malaysian First, I like Chakwe Tiao. Then, I like Mi Goreng Mama. And of course, the last one, I would like to have a good nasi lemak, okay? Oh. The best nasi lemak is Wanjo Kampung Baru, okay? Yes, I agree, Dato. Yeah. <laughs> So, um, you may have answered this, but you can give like short sentences. Two reasons why you chose the political path. Well, to tell you the truth, I didn't choose political path. Eh? I didn't choose political path. It's fated. I'm a businessman. 
But in 1998, when I was asked to assist the party, I came and assist the party. I told the then president I would do it for, nine, for six months. And I know that, I knew that that morning he told me, okay, for six months, your job is to win two-thirds for the next GE, 1999. Then after that, I stuck from 1999 to today. Oh, wow. This is all fated. Maybe before I was leading a flamboyant life, man. <laughs> now, maybe God loves me, stop all this flamboyant life, go and assist the community. So that's what I am today. Nice. And the 10th question, what can we anticipate as we draw closer to polling day? Well, uh, we will get a lot of uh, stories, especially from the opposition. They will come out with uh, uh, perception uh, stories and they will try and tarnish this government as much as they can because they've got no other issues. We have served the rakyat. 97.4% of whatever we promised during our GE 13 has been fulfilled. And they know that this government is a government which uh, fulfilled whatever promises which we made. Even in Kuala Lumpur, for example, we've got a program of this uh, Rumah Whip. I promise Rumah Whip by year 2020 will complete 80,000 units. Actually, last month in February, I've already achieved nearly 90,000 units. Wow. So this is what is another two years ago, you know. So now we've got to do another program for the Rakyat. A lot of things which we have done is basically for the people because this party is from the people, by the people, for the people, okay? Okay, all right, we're done, but can we have a bonus question, Dato? Hi, they're shocked, they're shocked. Come on, it's not like we are still going to play down one, two, three. Okay, okay. Is it true that you have plans to open a TV station? <laughs> yes. yes, I've already got a license, actually. Okay. So, in fact, I had, I had, I had a radio station. Okay. Well, I'm operating an independent radio station in, in uh, uh, Kota Kinabalu. Uh, call F, uh, KK 12 FM in Kota Kinabalu. I had a license for Kuala Lumpur and, uh, and Penang, but I sold it to Media Prima. Oh, okay. And now I'm, I just got another license which I'm going to operate in Kuala Lumpur. I might call it Putrajaya. I might call it Putrajaya FM. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so I might call whatever it is. And I'm, I'm, I used to be in media yeah. before because I used to own the Star newspaper. I used to own uh, Watan and I used to own the Sun and I've got a lot of other interests overseas as well in uh, up in, in communication business. How do you do that I've got a TV station? Adela's horses. Oh, it's so. true, are you? <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, so thank you. Uh, Bye. You have a great campaign week. Thank you. Take care. Be happy. Don't worry. You've got Kunan, okay? <laughs>